So when it comes to Blu-ray collecting, we have so many options out there, so many different types of movies, shows, studios, and of course, packaging. And when it comes to that, I think we could all agree that steelbooks are something that have gotten so popular over the years. They have this like premium look and feel, even though the movie itself is pretty much the same as what you would get in a non steelbook version. And even though I do enjoy collecting these, I think it's gotten to the point where, well, it could be a little bit too expensive for most people out there. And one of the things that I've noticed in the past, I would say year, um, is that studios are not only releasing more steelbooks, but they're also limiting what you can get with that. Okay, for example, more and more, I am seeing 4K steelbooks that don't even come with a Blu-ray. Thankfully, this still comes with the Blu-ray. Um, or they make it to where this is the only version available specifically for 4K where you can only get it in a steelbook format. And Sony is probably one of the worst offenders when it comes to that. And the biggest thing that I've noticed is the prices. It keeps going up. You know, typically nowadays for a 4K steelbook, you're probably looking at the $25 range. But I normally now see 4K steelbooks for $30 and even more than that, especially when it comes to boutique labels. And that's just for a single movie. And I think it gets to the point where it just gets too expensive. And at least for me, uh, I would like to not spend more than $25 on a 4K. Um, even with the steelbook, I always try to wait for sales. And I do understand that these companies have to make money and not as many people are buying Blu-rays, 4Ks, you know, physical media, it's not what it used to be. But at the same time, if they keep pushing up the prices, you know, making it more limited, uh, removing things like the Blu-ray version along with the 4K, um, I think it's actually gonna hurt them in the long run. And it's just gonna make it too expensive to actually collect. And nowadays, I really, really have to think about it. You know, do I really need this steelbook? And even do I really need this 4K? And honestly, if I had a choice between the steelbook and the standard edition, I do want the steelbook. I do like the way that they look and feel. I mean, that's just a preference thing. But at the same time, I don't think that justifies the higher cost, having limited features. And also whenever you combine all of that with it being a limited edition. So those are my thoughts on steelbooks at the moment, uh, specifically for 4K steelbooks. I just think it's gotten a little bit too expensive for most people out there. And hopefully these companies will maybe dial it back a little bit so that they could actually sell more. <laughs> so in the long run, they will make more money. And also give collectors like myself the option to actually buy these movies that we really enjoy and get it in a steelbook format for anybody who really likes that stuff. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my movie collecting videos, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.